Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to create a smoke effect. Uh, this is just an image from uh, Stock Exchange. And the first thing you're going to want to do is add a new layer. And then with a soft round brush, you can paint with white. And you're just going to pull out some lines like so. Um, you're going to want to adjust the width of your brush. Um, however, you don't need to be too careful with this because we are going to store this quite heavily later on. Um, just add some soft bits like so. And I do realize how terrible that looks. However, the key to this technique is going to the filter menu, down to other, and then hit maximum. And you see straight away you get these really nice creases in the lines that we just drew. Uh, so, have a look at your radius, and then you're going to want to adjust this until it suits your eye. And when you're happy with it, just click OK. And now we're going to give it some shape. So go back to the filter menu, down to distort, and then twirl. Um, it is really difficult to see the preview here because it's a white image on a grey and white background. So you may need to repeat this a few times until you get the look that you're going for. I'm going to see how that looks. That's okay. Uh, now what we want to do is get those really nice fine creases that you get in real smoke. And we're going to do that by using the warp. So hit uh, Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC. And then right click and click warp. And what we're going to do is fold the mesh in on itself. So we're going to grab a corner and pull it into like a, another segment of the mesh. It looks like you're breaking it, but you'll see when we commit uh, the warp that it turns out not too bad. Uh, let's do that one more time over here. And then hit enter. Okay, you can see it coming together. Uh, sometimes you get like straight lines after you use the warp, so you may want to warp it again. I usually do. Just to Make sure it's nice and soft. And then, okay. When you're happy with it, just reel on. Uh, drop the opacity. And there you go. That's just one of many methods you can use to create smoke for your digital art.